So you like hair and you like color and you like gradients. So why not put them all together? Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to create uh, variation in hair color. So pretty much, uh, we're gonna take uh, strands of hair and make them start as one color, and the tip will be a different color. It's very, very cool, uh, very easy to do. So I'm gonna get started today. I'm gonna go ahead and delete Default Cube. I'm sorry, Default Cube. I wanna get something that's very easy to see the hair off of. Actually, you know what? We're gonna leave Default Cube. We're gonna use Default Cube today. Um, I'm going to go to the particle tab here, add in a new particle system, and change it to hair type. Now you can see we have uh, hair sides here, different hair pieces. I'm going to change the hair length down just a wee bit because that's a bit too long. Um, now you can see they're all the same length, that's fine. We're not doing like a super duper hair thing today. It's just to change the color so we can see pretty easily what's going on. I'm going to bump the number up to 2,000. Um, yeah, that's good. All right, so now what I want to do so we'll split our window into two by dragging from the top left or the bottom left or the bottom right, either way, and split one of these into um, into uh, the different the, into the shader editor. There we go. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this principled BSDF because we don't need that bad boy. We're gonna go ahead and, and add in a Shift A search color ramp because that guy is gonna help us out. Of course, we're gonna plug him into the situation here. We're gonna scroll on over here and go to the rendered viewport uh, tab here. With our camp, with our with our lamp, sorry, not our camera. With our lamp, we're gonna go ahead and change this. I just want to change it to an area lamp really quickly, um, and we'll rotate it, change it to a square type, scale it up, and I think that let's find the way that it is. Let me. All right, so there we go. Something strange just happened with the lighting, so I loaded up a new scene and it's fixed now. There we go. All right, now, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn overlays off so we can see easier what we're doing here. Now, with our cube selected and our hair follicles all ready to go, let me get rid of that again. Um, we have a couple of things we're going to do. Hit Shift A, add that color ramp back in. Uh, there we go. We're going to plug that into the surface. Now, you can see we have uh, some good stuff going on here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change uh, this, this black color. I'm going to move this up just a little bit, move the white color down. Um, and I'm going to change the black color to, let's say, maybe a super bright green, maybe seafoam like uh, teal. And we're going to change the white color to a really bright yellow. Yeah, that's a nice combination, sure. Uh, I want to go ahead and add in a Shift A search. We're going to type in hair info. And you can see right there, we grab that bad boy and plug that in uh, from the intercept into the color ramp. Now, you can see instantly we have a really cool gradient from our hair. Now, we can uh, fix this up by dragging these around a little bit, making them go up a little bit, uh, and the even cooler thing about this is is that this will work no matter uh, no matter what material, what, what object you put this material on. So if I go ahead and get rid of Default Cube, and I add in a uh, UV sphere, and plug that same material onto this guy, um, of course with uh, hair particles, I'll bump this up to even something even higher, 10,000. We'll do 10,000 hair particles. Look at that. Boom. How good does that look? Now it turns smooth shading on. There we go. He's, look how cool that is, right? How sweet is that? So now we have this cool gradient from that sea foam to the yellow. Um, and I mean, we can do realistic hair this way. We can do like hair like Sully like this way. I can get like a uh, brown, maybe for like a darker root color, maybe. Something like uh, that. And then maybe we'll do tips that are lighter. Something like that. And of course, this doesn't look like actual hair right now because it's in a circle, but you get the idea. The cool, really, really cool way to uh, to get the variation that you want in uh, your hair and in the color of your hair. Super, super cool way. And of course, you can always change this to constant if you're going for something more um, more non-realistic. If you're going for uh, some kind of weird thing, I don't know. But this is a great way to do that. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for today's tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Super easy, like I said. Uh, very easily, quick to be done. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye-bye. <laughs>